Okay, we're, um, we're, we're sexperts. And we're sexperts. We're based in SeaTac. And we just, the holiday is approaching, and we're just like, you guys need some advice. So we're here to give you all some tips. Because whoever said that whole thing about, like, just be yourself, they weren't married. So who would marry that person? I don't even understand. OK, here you go for it. Okay. Men love honesty. Filters are for spinsters. <laughs> but at the same time, men love to conquer the unconquered. So tell him it's your first time every time. <laughs> There's a little something that I like to call the beaver. Okay. So you take his erect penis, right? And then you like, it's eye contact is essential. So eye contact the whole time. And then you like nibble around the edges. Just nibble around the edges. And then you whisper, oh, I'm a hungry beaver. <laughs> it's important that you let him know you're up for anything. So within the first five minutes, Make out with the bartender. <laughs> Avi, like, hello. Okay, there's something I like to call the moves. Okay, right. So here are the moves. Okay, so you expose your wrist. You flick your hair. You open your mouth. So you should look like this. <laughs> if he's not intercoursing you, like, really hard, you haven't learned right. <laughs> when he gets up to go to the restroom, let him know that you're still thinking about him by texting him, I feel like I'll never see you again. <laughs> Four times in a row. If he doesn't respond, he's obviously dead. And you should go through his phone. <laughs> There's a really sexy move that I call, it's called Gaga for Grandma. So you go out to dinner, right? You're wearing a frumpy old dress, like a, a weird old woman dress. And you're out for dinner, then in the middle of dinner, you rip it off, and you reveal an even frumpier old woman dress. <laughs> and then, when you're in the bathroom, doing like you should, you whisper in his ear, thank you for being a friend. <laughs> Speaking of family, <laughs> if he remembers his mother's birthday, he is obviously cheating on you. <laughs> After true. all, it's not your birthday, and how fucking dare he celebrate another woman? I mean, I'm fucking serious right now. <laughs> no, there's one thing that all people who are physically male cannot resist. Harry Potter role playing. <laughs> you're wearing a little robe and you have your little wand and you say, Accio, your penis. No man can resist that. At the same time, nothing is sexier than Disney. <laughs> so constantly compare him to a Disney prince. He's not texting you back. Oh my God, what a fucking Simba. I bet he's gonna blame it on some childhood trauma or some shit. There's a sexy sex move that I like to intercourse people with. It's called the banana gram. You, you, you unzip his pants, right? And then you, you, you take his member out and you put the balls near your mouth and then you put the head of it near your ear and you say, hello, operator. <laughs> The first time you're confronted with his penis, just purr. It'll make him think pussy. If he has an ex-girlfriend he's still friends with, you're basically at war. <laughs> Nothing says you care like quoting his Facebook updates from three years ago. <laughs> That's just love. <laughs> <laughs>
one of my favorite sex tips for this Valentine's is to um, give him a really mean hand job while screaming at him in Hebrew. <laughs> my favorite thing to say is I am a vengeful God. <laughs> To make sure he knows that you're having a good time, pound out the melody to If You're Happy and You Know It. <laughs> the best kind of sex is sex that also involves love. Like that's really like what everybody wants, right? So this Valentine's Day, give him the best blowjob, where you're blowing him and then you whip out a photo of his childhood dog and then you say, you have to keep your eyes on it, but it sounds more like, oh! <laughs> Find out where his mother likes to hang out, and then follow her, and become best friends. And then never tell him. <laughs> The worst thing you can do when you're in a relationship that you like really care about is is to not take that next step forward, which is so hard. Like when you have real like like when you're really emotionally like unsure, it's really hard. So really though, this Valentine's Day, don't hold back. Take that next step forward and tell him you're pregnant. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you like haven't had sex or if like, you know, he knows it can't be his. Just like, you know, you're still going through an emotional time even if it's somebody else's. <laughs> when you're driving down the freeway, take your hands off the wheel and make really direct eye contact. Terror is an aphrodisiac. I want to also say that February is Black History Month, so this year you should do something called the Underground Railroad. It's not funny. Okay. So this year I want you to write all of your state representatives about the issues that really affect the African American community buck naked. <laughs> also, for this holiday, give him what's called the clap. Put a foot on either side of his penis and give yourself a standing ovation. <laughs> Do something that I like to call the soup Nazi, uh, which is this thing where you, you hold the penis like this. Like this is the head, this is the base. And you say, what's the deal with all this cock? <laughs> Except you say, it, you say it like you're Seinfeld. Like I can actually do a Seinfeld impersonation, but just imagine the sheer like sexual ecstasy you'd been in if I could have. <laughs> to keep his lips soft and supple, just lick them while he's sleeping. <laughs> I would just like to say thank you very much. I love love, and I love my husband, Maurice. Where are you, Maurice? Maurice is in here. Okay, Maurice is in here. That means he doesn't like me. That means he doesn't like me. Okay, he doesn't like me. Which means that I haven't been validated by a man in at least half an hour, so if anybody wants to meet me in the alleyway, that's pretty cool. I mean, that's like, that's not pretty cool. Um, yes, but it is. Self-esteem. What? Okay. <laughs> Let him know that you're over that lying, cheating, fucking bastard of an ex of yours by burning all of his stuff in front of him, and then make frenzied love in front of the flames. It's kind of like Girl Scouts, but sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys talked about self-esteem yet? I don't remember. Have I told you guys the importance of self-esteem? Like, oh my god, self-esteem is so important. No, really, like self-esteem, you cannot be a sexual, beautiful woman without self-esteem. Like, it's not possible. Self-esteem is the most important part of you. Which is why the next time your best friend gets a boyfriend, you owe it to yourself to know whether or not you can sleep with him. <laughs> Just keep touching his leg. You owe it to you. <laughs> It's also really important to keep the spark alive by keeping your partner guessing. So just go ahead and punch them while they're sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really do 
you have anything else that we should bestow upon these people? They don't really understand. I have a really good idea for this Valentine's Day for a present. Oh, I have presents. Okay, go. Okay, the best one, the one that says that you're serious and you're in it to win it, is to get a tattoo of their face somewhere in the no zone. <laughs> okay, so I actually disagree with Megan here. My personal favorite Valentine's Day present is if you get your partner's name, like if you wax, like here, like get his name waxed into your vag. That's just like, hello, duh. It belongs to them. Yeah. Have a happy Valentine's!